Hey, 42 here. There are hidden oil wells all over Los Angeles. These secret oil wells are hidden right in plain sight. Some are next to schools and shopping malls. Some are discreetly concealed inside plain, boring old office blocks. These cleverly designed buildings are all like, we've got nothing to hide, but then bang, oil well. These discreet oil wells have produced millions of barrels of crude oil over the years. In the 1890s, Los Angeles, then a small town with a population of just 50,000, was a thriving oil field. The ground beneath the city is rich in petroleum. By 1930, California was producing one quarter of the world's oil. LA grew exponentially, and it is now one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Most inhabitants are under the impression that the oil industry that LA was built upon has mostly dried up and operations ceased long ago. But this couldn't be further from the truth. The bustling city still produces oil at an astonishing rate, and every year more secret oil wells are built around the city. Most of the time the local residents have no idea they are living near an oil well. In the 30s, when LA's oil industry was booming and people thought this sticky black crude stuff was the next best thing since the invention of canned beer, 95% of Los Angeles residents actually voted for a law that allowed oil wells to be placed in one's own backyard. Could you imagine that today? Congressmen will be scalped and lynched by an army of angry soccer mums at the slightest mention of such a law. But because of that 1930s law, today every quiet suburban LA neighbourhood has its very own penguin killing, vegan hating black gold mine. The ability to hide oil wells behind or inside buildings is thanks to advances in technology which means oil wells are now significantly smaller, quieter, more efficient and generally less messy than they were in the 20th century. Actually, due to advances in soundproofing technology, urban oil wells are now almost completely silent. As a result, oil wells have popped up in the strangest of places amongst a metropolis of 3.9 million people, such as smack bang in the middle of residential areas, McDonald's parking lots, and even a farmer's market. Would you like some petroleum with your organic, fair trade, free range avocados, mum? What? You've never had free range avocado? So all this means that somewhere in a boardroom, in the headquarters of some giant oil corporation, there's a group of men in suits playing a game of, where's the most stupidly obvious yet surprisingly deceptive place we can hide an oil well? What's that Mike? In a playground disguised as a climbing frame? That's genius! You win Child Hating Oil Baron of the Month Award! But some haven't even bothered to cleverly blend into the surrounding environment. Some take the other approach of, if we erect the tall building with a suspicious lack of markings or branding on it, I bet nobody will notice it's an oil well. Today there are over 3,000 active oil wells in Los Angeles, and more are sneakily built by urban oil ninjas every year. Like this one that was built directly in the schoolyard of one of the poshest schools in the country, schooling the little tyrants of the filthy rich at Beverly Hills High School. But they painted some flowers on it and named it the Tower of Hope, so they could be all like, Oil well? There's no oil wells over here. The company behind this particular well, Venoco, has to pay leasing royalties to the high school every year. So much in fact, that 85% of the school teachers wages come from this oil money. Ok now this one isn't even trying to hide. These thoughtfully placed wells are inside a cemetery near Signal Hill. I suppose they're hoping that the decomposing bodies will contribute to the oil supply. So I guess that's kind of eco-friendly, kind of like recycling. Oh, what's that? It, it takes a few million years to make fossil fuel from dead bodies. Oh well. Sorry guys, rest in petroleum. Thanks for watching. He had simply gotten drunk at a local pub and was walking home past the palace at 7am when he decided to go for a stroll through the halls of possibly the world's most famous residence. Just outside of Munich lies a sleepy village called Fugurai where the rent for a whole year is just under one euro. 